but it's clear that the penny has dropped. And there was a time when people imbibed with their mother's milk the idea that the BBC was impartial. My experience through my 25 years at the BBC as a reporter was that it wasn't. And that was very clear to me, and I think it's becoming much clearer to a lot of other people. And I think one of the reasons for that is because we've come through a period in British politics which has been very polarised, and the BBC actually failed to reflect fairly um, the two sides in those big debates, particularly in the Brexit debate. I think Brexit was something which threw into sharp relief just where the BBC's heart really lies. And on that big and very important issue, they failed lamentably to be impartial. Day, Mr. Ranson, you disagree? Well, the first thing I would say is it's very, very important that we stay sceptical. Whoever we listen to, even if we listen to you, Dan, because what oh, yeah, I want we that. have learned... Through... Sorry about that. What we've learned through the Ukraine uh, tragedy is that Russia believes completely, implicitly, what they're told by the state-run media there. So, therefore... The war, the terrible, tragic, um, desperately important war, which is putting the whole of Europe at risk, um, they are, 80% of them are still behind it. So it's really important that all of us stay sceptical. That being said, if you have a look at that survey that you've quoted, you will find that the number of people that don't think the BBC is effective and impartial has also dropped by about the same amount. And the fascinating thing is, if you ask people, as this survey did, who really regularly follow the news, which broadcaster, which medium they most trust, 48% say the BBC, and the next highest is 8% who say Sky News. So the BBC, we turn to the BBC in moments of crisis. And the BBC, I know, and I'm sure Jenny knows, that the BBC takes that responsibility desperately seriously. And the Director General is many things, but he's not a lefty liberal. Biggins, there has been a change, though, hasn't there? I mean, yeah, I was someone that when Jenny Bond was reporting on the royal family, I tended to trust what the BBC told me. But, Biggins, things have changed over the past few years. I mean, do you still watch Biggins BBC News and trust what they tell you? I don't. I mean, I was always one who would switch at six o'clock in the mm -hmm. evening. Whatever I was watching, I would turn to BBC One because I thought that was the best news we had. And it was fantastic. However, I do think over the last couple of years, it has turned into something very political. And, I, you know, I love you, Esther, but I just disagree with you because I think the problem is that they're not telling the truth. And I think they're so biased that it's a real problem that we have. And I don't think it's a problem that should be uh, taught or, or listened to or even... I mean, I think the radio, for instance, I love Radio 2, and that is changing now. There's so many things that are happening with the BBC, and I don't know where to go. I mean, I, I used to love it. I don't love it anymore. 